Greetings. Welcome back to Pink Odd Bird. Today, we are gonna be doing a little project that's called uh, Snippet Strips. So that's what we're gonna be making today. I don't think I have ever really made one of these. I've made like paper clusters, but I've never made it in a, like a strip form. I think it's pretty self-explanatory, so I guess we're gonna just like roll with the punches <laughs> and see what we get. So let's go ahead and get started. So I know that we all have these, right? I mean, if you make journals, I'm, I'm pretty sure you have these. So <laughs> I'm gonna start out with um, just, I think I'm just gonna do two of these cause I'm not sure like how much I'm gonna use or how big that they'll be or, or if I need to cut them down. Actually, maybe I'll do three. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm being ambitious. Let's, let's start with two. <laughs> um, I'm not really sure how I'm going to start this out or what, but I think the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little background stamp and I'm going to stamp uh, a little bit on here just to give it a background. I don't know if any of this is going to show ultimately, but in case it does, I kind of want it to have something on it and not just be plain and bare. Okay, and then just, just in case, and I also don't wanna to use too much ink on that, so just one stamp. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just be pulling from like items that I kind of like have right here off hand, just random little stuff that I have in piles um, that kind of like fit with the theme, I think. Um, so, and then I'm just gonna start putting them down and um, you know, see see how we're going with that. Um, I've got a big mixture of things right here next to me. I mean, I guess you could do this uh, several different ways. I think you can do it kind of like where it's just like a like a random like cluster of stuff, um, like <clears throat> no like rhyme or reason. But I guess you could also kind of maybe do it like it's where you can see more images and, and such um, throughout the project, if that makes sense. Like if you wanna have like actual imagery instead of just um, random. But I think I, I'm gonna try it out with random and see, see how that goes, see if we like that. So I'm really just starting out by just Picking and choosing and placing. Picking and choosing and placing. That's how we're starting this one out. And we're gonna be rocking through this together. I didn't check out any other videos on this because like I said, I feel like, A, there's probably already a lot out there. So this really isn't a tutorial maybe perhaps, but it is more of a like, yeah, like a craft with me. Um, see, what, see what we get in this scenario. Um, uh, I don't really know. I might actually, I have some fabric here next to me, so I might pop some fabric down because I think that would also be cute. I don't know. We're just going to see. We're just going to see what we do. We're, we're, we're making something today. I think that's the gist of what I'm trying to say is we're making something today. <laughs> so I hope you guys are all doing really well um, and enjoying these little crafting videos with me crafting with me, the P.O.B. All right, so we got that down. Now I'm gonna take some, I don't know, I'm just grabbing from piles that I have right here next to me. I think some of this I'm gonna make like so that it sticks off the page because I kind of like how it's a little like off kiltery kind of, you know, like that. Not exactly even Steven. And see how that goes. So I guess I'm just getting a base down right now. And like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna cover every inch of what we're doing here, but you know, we'll see what we get as we go. Cause I don't really know. It's a mystery. Maybe you guys have already seen what this is gonna look like if I popped it in at the beginning of the video. You guys are probably like, we know what we know what this is gonna look like. 
We, we got it under control over here. We don't need any of your antics and shenanigans, April. <laughs> okay, okay, fair enough. And let's grab some more of this. And no rhyme or reason here. I'm just starting out. I also know that I need to probably do this kind of strategically because I don't want uh, I don't want uh, these things to get too bulky. And that's what I say now. Who knows what's gonna happen? I guess we, I won't really know until I get to the end of this project. Okay, let's grab some. I've got some just random like digi here next to me, so we'll take some of that. I think I'll worry about distressing at the very end. Also, it looks like I'm covering up most of my background, so. <laughs> but you never know, like un until you know, you don't know. Okay, until you know, you don't know. Okay, next we'll take some I think I'm going to use some of these <clears throat> which I think would be cute get a little bit more um, Let's get a little bit more layering down first. Cool. Cool, cool. Now, I think what I'd like to do is take a little bit of fabric also to get some different textures in here. So let me grab my fabrics and, uh, oh, my glue is right here, so I don't need to reach too far for it. All right, so I'm gonna just take some of this should have got my fabric scissors while I was standing but that would have been too much like logical <laughs> and I want this to not be so like perfectly straight so I'm just gonna kind of fold it well with these scissors I don't think I need to try <laughs> so that it's kind of jagged a little cool that's exactly what I want Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit of glue.
cool, okay. Sorry, I was really quiet there. <laughs> I get into my head when I'm in this mode, in this zone of creativity. It's just a thing that happens sometimes. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of this one here, just a tinch of it. Some different color variations going. Um, let's see, I'm gonna put this piece maybe down here somewhere. I'm just gonna kind of crinkle it. Okay, cool. Let's do this one here. Um, maybe up here, I think, somewhere. Perfecto. Okay, next, 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 I think I'm going to see if I can distress this. I'm, I don't know. I'm not sure if I should have done this before or after, but this, this is what's happening. This is what's happening right now. So that's how it's looking so far. I do like the distressing after here. I am gonna stitch on this also. I'm just not sure what what phase or what stage. Perfect. Okay, next what I would like to do, actually I think stitching comes now. That's what I think. Stitching comes now. Um, actually want to add a little bit more, I think, before we move on. Okay. I think I'm going to add this little piece right here. these little stickers. I want to see if I can add to this to get a little bit of imagery and I do have my mushroom ones here. So I'm going to cut these out. I don't think I have a punch this big. I think these are inch and a half. video might be an attainable one, something that you guys can just pop in and watch and move on. All right, that and that, and then I think I'm going to distress those first. Also, I think I might actually use some of this, like pieces of it here and there when I stitch. So I'm going to cut some pieces off of this and stitch them on here as well, just for a little bit more interest and maybe this one too since they're sitting right here in front of me. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna distress these down. So on these, 
I want to trim a little bit of this white border off. It's kind of thick to me. And I don't care if it's rattered and tattered or straight or uneven or weebly wobbly. I do not care. Okay, that's better. See the difference there? Okay, do the same on this one. All right, and then I want to distress these also so that they blend in. These are stickers, paper stickers. So they're like really lightweight and thin. So I'm just gonna glue these straight down. definitely want to make sure I get to the edge because I'm not sure how these um, snippet things are going to be stitched. <clears throat> I don't want to lose my light bulb. All right, I'm going to pop the light bulb right here. It's cute. Burnish down. And over here, These are actually pretty cool. And you know what? This is another one of those like scrap buster type of products that you can do um, where you're just going to use a bunch of like f fabric scraps or paper scraps that you already have on hand, which is always, always welcomed, right? Like who's going to turn down getting rid of scraps? And we'll do our little mushroomski. The little mushroomski. And I'm gonna put this one here. And we'll do the same on this. I think I'll pop this one right here, ski. Right here, ski. Again, I don't really know, like, I, I guess I'm doing, I don't know if there's really a right, wrong way, or like a standard way. <laughs> you guys know we don't really do that here. We do whatever we want, right? We do what we want. We don't need no stinking standards. <laughs> well, I guess it depends on what we're doing. Sometimes we do. Sometimes we need a little bit of a standard. All right, so now that we've got those down, I said I'm gonna use some of this since it's here. I think I'm gonna also maybe see about something tiny that we can also add here. I like those super tiny Tim Holtz little elements, so let's see. I'm just taking random little stuff that's like so tiny and like what do you use it for? I don't really know, bro. Okay, how about that? We'll start with that and see if we can place those. We obviously need to distress them. I have threads everywhere because I saved those threads from the other day. <laughs> okay. And I'm gonna glue this little flower piece. up here and let's do another one on this one strings strings everywhere Okay, and I'm gonna put this one down here. These are looking cool. I am happy. Get 
this little label on here. And actually, I think I'm going to cut it in half or close to half. And we'll use it half and half just to add some small elements on here, little pieces of interest. Gonna glue this one here, right on the edge. And this one, here okay cool friends all right so this is what we have so far I think what I'm gonna do is take these over to my machine I'm gonna take these like I said that I would and uh, come back and see what we have and I think that's gonna be it for these uh, snippet strips so all right I'll be back okay friends so in the end this is what I have for the two snippet strips that I made. Not a very hard project to do, I would say, as far as labor intensive. Um, this probably took about, let's see, we've got 23 minutes of filming. It probably took me about five minutes. So I'd say this is like a 30 minute project for making like two like this, like I did. Um, and they're about eight and a half inches tall. So on scale of one to 10 for labor intensive, uh, I'd say two, two to three, very, very minimal. So. Um, yeah, so I hope that you guys like these. Uh, you can use these so many different ways, like on the pages of your, so like if you have your, your page and your signature, you could use a piece like this as like a, whoo, a tuck spot, or you don't even have to do that. You could just let it be a decorative element on your page. Uh, you could use it to line pockets. Like if you did it horizontally, you could use it to line your pockets. You could use it as a belly band. Like there's so many things that you can do with these. So um, I encourage you to just give it a try and see how you might want to try and, and use a snippet strip. So friends, today I was able to uh, spare you a little bit of time, <laughs> give you some more time in your day back. And uh, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this fun, quick little project. And I'm not sure how long the final video is going to be, but yeah, like I said, this took about 30 minutes to make the two. So really easy to do, a fun way to use your scraps and a nice decorative element for your page. So I'm going to go ahead and skedaddle on out of here, but you guys know I'll be back sometime soon with something else. So <laughs> I think that is going to wrap it up for me for now. Be sure to stay tuned because you never know what direction this odd flock of ours is heading into. And until next time, toodaloo.